Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to build a blog application using Gatsby and Oracle Content Headless CMS. My name is Peter Grundy and I am a developer working on headless CMS samples here at Oracle. The first step we need to take is to clone the repository from GitHub. This code is publicly available to you to use, extend, or comment on. To perform this clone, we first copy the URL from GitHub and open up a command prompt. We then run git clone and specify the URL we just copied. The next step we will take is to open up the project inside a code editor. For the purposes of this project, I will be using Visual Studio Code. The next step we will take is to install the dependencies required to run the project. This is done by running npm install. This will take a few moments. The next step we'll be taking is to build the application. This is done by running npm run build in the console. This will do the following. Trigger the Gatsby source OCE plugin to download the asset metadata locally into the build cache. This would be the information about any blog categories, the actual blog entries, and any images referenced in the site. The next step after that is that it downloads the individual images referenced in the metadata into a local directory. The next step is that it will call Gatsby Node.js to process the data and figure out what pages need to be created based on the results. Finally, it will create these pages, populating them with the appropriate data from the cache. To run the sample, we then run npm run serve. This will start up a web server on port 9000, where we can then view the application. If we open up a browser window on localhost 9000, we can now view the result of the build. The home page of the application gives the viewer a way to see the different topic groups that the blog entries are sorted into. Clicking on one of these topic groups then drills down to a page that gives a brief summary of each blog found in that group. From these summary pages, the viewer then can then select and view individual blog entries in detail. For example, if we select recipes, we find out there are four blogs that fall under that topic. And by selecting the perfect meringue, we now drill down into that blog entry. You'll notice also there is a breadcrumb trail that allows us to navigate back to the home page or the summary easily. As a final part of the tutorial, we will look at the source code and discuss the role of each of the files within the application. Since Gatsby is based on React, the layout is similar to other React projects, but with some important differences. Firstly, Almost all the source code is found under the SRC folder of the project. The components directory contains a set of React components that are used by different pages and templates to simplify their layouts. The pages directory is special in Gatsby because any JavaScript file defined in there will automatically become a page in the project with a URL based on its name. Files within this directory can run GraphQL queries 
to retrieve needed data, but only if all parameters to the queries are known in advance. The scripts directory does not have any special significance in Gatsby and is used here to hold some utility functions. The styles directory holds the CSS that is used to set the appearance of the application. And finally, the templates directory contains special files that are used to create pages dynamically at build time. In some cases, the application cannot know about what pages it needs to create until it can examine the GraphQL cache that the build process has filled in. You will recall that in, in the sample, it used the Gatsby or OCE source plugin to download the data from Oracle content. Here are some details about important files in this application. Gatsby node.js. This file is executed once all the source plugins have populated the GraphQL cache. Its role in the application is to find out what blogs are defined in the dataset and then create pages for them. It does this by calling create page passing the article details template as the source code for the page as well as information about each blog. It also creates the pages summarizing which blogs belong to each topic heading. The index.jsx page is used to generate the home page of the application. Since this uses information from a predetermined asset, it does not need to be a template. It runs two queries. The first loads up the asset and the second one loads up the URLs for any images that it needs to display. Once that is done, it uses two components to render its content. The first, header, is used to generate the topmost bar in the page, while the second topic list item is used to generate each of the boxes for each topic. The next file we will look at is the article details template. This is used to create the page for each blog entry. It uses a parameter passed into it from Gatsby node.js to get the details of a blog entry and then displays the formatted entry. Finally, we look at the articles list template. This is called from Gatsby Node.js to create the pages summarizing which blogs belong to a given topic. It runs a query that looks for all blog entries belonging to a given topic ID. It then uses the article list item component to display each entry. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it interesting and informative. Thank you.